Derek Pans with Muscle and Fitness. I'm here with John Gotti again this week. Uh, we're gonna expand on what we did last week. Last week we did a basic catch and shoot counter off the jab. I'm gonna quickly review it and we're gonna add another technique to this that you can mix into your arsenal. So last week John was just jabbing at me and when he would jab, you have to actually aim to hit me. I'd redirect it with my fingertips, slide my right hand over or I was redirecting it and shooting my jab over. Change sides for a second, John. So, real quickly, this will just take us about a minute. When John jabs me, shoot jab, hit me, boom. Good again, hit me. Good. You have to be close enough to land the punch. Move around. John's in the jab whenever you want. I'm gonna redirect it and slide my right hand over. Again. Or I'm going to redirect it and jab back. That's what we went over last week. This week, John is still going to jab, but rather than come back with my right hand or my jab, I'm going to counter him with an inside leg kick. Now, a lot of people think that kicking and punching are done at different ranges. They can be, but they don't have to be. I can round kick you from the same range that I punch you. So John and I are gonna stand just outside of our jabbing range. That's the best way to drill, just outside of the range where you can touch each other. That's usually the range where you fight. I'm close enough where, just a half step, I can hit John, but I'm far enough away where I have little time to react. When John steps into the jab, I have to react instantly. I'm gonna take my head and move it off the center line. It's very important. I don't want to be dead center to John. When you watch fighters on TV very often, you can see how they move their heads off the center line. But almost all fighters at a high level, UFC fighters, high level kickboxers and boxers, are never really right in front of each other. They use you off on a slight angle that's hard to see on a two dimensional screen. Even now, as I'm probably showing you, it's probably difficult to see that when John's hand is here, my head's gonna be here. It has to be, because if John gets through my catch, that line of defense, if he gets through this, I'm getting hit. When John does extend his jab, I move my head off the center line, I'm extending my lead hand, and I'm having my rear hand up blocking my chin. That's three different layers of defense. Now this happens instantaneously. It looks like just one quick movement, but there's three things happening. So let's watch this slowly. When John jabs, my head is moving. I'm gonna extend my lead arm. I extend my lead arm and keep my rear hand up on my chin. Relax. We'll do it a little quicker. John jabs, boom. I'm moving my head. I extend my lead arm. My chin is down behind my shoulder and my rear hand is up on my chin. You know what, I wanna correct myself. I said that's three lines of defense. It's actually four lines of defense. The first, my head is moving. The second, my arm's extended. The third, I'm behind my shoulder. And the fourth, my chin is up. That's a lot for John to get around with just a jab. You have to find a different way around my defense, which would be adding his right hand, adding low kicks, faking me. But right now, as a basic counter, when John jabs, I'm moving my head, I'm extending my lead arm, covering my chin, and I'm throwing my inside round kick to John's inner thigh. When I throw the round kick, it's not gonna be just a snap, but it's not gonna be a real power kick either. It's gonna be in between that. It's gonna be hard enough to break John's balance. All I have to do is kick hard enough to get John's knee to buckle just a little bit. If it buckles even this much, John's offense is weakened. And actually, his whole arsenal is weakened because for that fraction of a second, he has to recover before he usually adds other punches and other kicks. Let's move around. Now, when you drill with somebody to make this actually effective and work, you have to really try to hit each other. It's just a jab, you know it's coming. And he won't throw to 100% power, but John has to throw it enough where if I miss with my counter, I'm getting hit. John will be kind to me because he's younger and faster. Be kind. You move around. John jabs, jab it one. I might just catch a couple. Good. Now I'm gonna fire back a jab or a straight. That's it. Land it, go ahead. Good. 
Now I'm gonna mix in something else. What would that be? Boom. The inside kick. So the best way to drill is to drill semi-live. When I say semi-live, obviously John isn't firing with malicious intent. But if I miss, he will hit me. I'm adding this inside low kick as another option for countering. I'm gonna practice all my counters. When you drill, I mentioned this last week, you wanna stay in character. John is acting like he doesn't know what counter is coming at him. That's why I'm able to land them quite easily. Obviously, if it was a real sparring session, John would be doing different things, different combinations, different strikes, different kicks, faking me. Fakes make it much more difficult to land the counters, but this is just one other basic way to add to your arsenal to learn how to counter and jab. I'm Derek Panza with John Gotti from Muscle and Fitness. Thank you.